Uppercut. Bah, bah. There, good. Hi, my name's Glenn Holmes. I'm the co-owner of the Box and Burn Academy, the world's number one boxing fitness certification course. I'm also the founding trainer here at Box and Burn in LA. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Combination number one. We're gonna start off with a double jab and we're gonna press into the opponent with two steps forward with that double jab. So she's coming step, step, closing that distance. Also drawing me into throwing that counter right hand. So with the slip of the right hand, she's gonna step across at the same time. Now she's really in close, ready for that left hook leans back right end from there we're going to step out with the right foot and roll under the hook at the same time kind of throws me off balance and i throw that counter hook so if we put it together um, we're stepping in with the double jab we're stepping again with the slip then once we're inside two counter punches and then stepping out of range with that roll as well all right so step uh, double jab coming in slip hook cross roll out there so the combination um, is pretty simple in itself, just a double jab and a hook cross as far as the punches. But what makes it tricky is the footwork. So it's step, step with the double jab, step with the slip, hook cross counter, and then step out with the roll as well. So le left foot working a couple of times coming in, and then right foot working on that roll out. All right, let's put it together, go. There, and again, nice and quick now, explosive and under, good. And one more, close that distance with the double jab. Step, there, nice. So there you go, there's combination number one. Advanced, moving the feet to get in, moving the feet to get in. Advanced combination with footwork num number two, we're gonna start off with the one-two combination. So the one-two, setting it up nicely, right? Weight's on the front foot, about 60% on the front foot off that cross. So you're gonna use that weight in the front foot to kind of push back and you use the, foot, the feet to get out, right? And now she stepped back with the back foot first, the front foot's just followed. Now she's perfectly on balance to land a counter punch as I've come in. So I'm gonna give that uppercut there to, to time that counter punch. And then as soon as that's landed, she's gonna exit with a pivot, boom, right? Now as soon as the pivot is done, the weight should be slightly on that back foot or maybe even 50-50, ready for anything right there. I'm just gonna finish off the combination with a cross hook, boom, right? Because the reason for that cross hook, as soon as she's landed that uppercut and got out, she'll be on that side of the opponent right here, perfectly in line for that cross. Now if I react, boom, the hook will land, right? And the hook, as I've said several times on my videos throughout the YouTube, um, throughout this YouTube channel, Ending on that hook is always a great option because it pulls the head out of, the, out of range and gets you away from the opponent. So from the top, we started with the one-two. We pull with the back foot, the feet land, uppercut counter, pivot out with the back foot. We're spinning on the front foot there, finishing on the two hook. Okay. So when we put it together and make it a little bit more live if we were moving around, one-two step back, uppercut, spin off, and bam, bam. There, nice two power punches to finish off the combo. So again, a little bit sharper now, a bit more speed and power. So one, two, step back. Good. One more from the top. One, two, and stepping back. Uppercut. Bah, bah. There, good. Nice work. So there's a combination number two, using the step back and the pivot with that combination. All right, third combination with footwork. This is advanced. There's only two punches, but it is advanced because we're timing the hook and the step into range at the same time. So what I would encourage you to do with this, it's great off the feint of the jab. So if you're feinting that jab, making your opponent think you're gonna throw a jab, and then simply pushing off the back foot into range with the hook, and then counter, and then throwing that straight right there. If you saw um, the Carl Froch versus George Groves rematch, probably, what, four or five years ago now at Wembley Stadium uh, in front of 80,000 people when Carl Froch knocked George Groves out. Uh, this is exactly what happened. He was feinting the jab, feinting the jab, stepped into range with the hook and then landed that knockout right hand right on the chin. There's so much force behind this combination because you're stepping in with a power punch. So if your opponent's static and falls for that step in, that right hand lands with that full force behind it, that forward momentum, nine times out of 10, that's gonna be a knockdown or a knockout punch. So again, you're out of range. That's the key to this combination is we're staying out of range, which means we're away from a fully extended punch and then we using that back foot to push in. We're moving the front foot first and landing that front foot with the hook 
and then finishing on the cross, okay? So I'll start with the hands up, sit a little bit more weight than you normally would into your back foot, so about 6% on the back foot, and kind of push off that back foot, but move the front foot first. The left foot's gonna land with the left hook, so I'm gonna throw, show both mitts from the start, so you can see both um, targets. Ready, step in, hook cross. Good. Now a little bit more explosive. We need to get in fast and really nail that right hand right through the target. Ready? It's so loose, a little bit of movement. Go when you feel ready. There we go. Nice. Good one. Stay nice and low as you land too. That's the key. You've got to still be in the legs to have that power behind that cross. If we come in and we come upright and the legs are a bit too straight, boom, there's not, not as much power in that cross. So you've got to stay low, you've got to stay in those legs. Ready? Whenever you're ready, push off the back foot, land the hook. Good. Right down the middle. Ready? Go. Good. And again. Good. Go. Good one. Go. Nice. Good. Good stuff. So a super powerful combination and a good way to practice this if, you, if you're trying it in your shadow boxing and you're not doing it on the mitts is just stepping in with the hook. Reset. Step in with the hook. Kind of reset. Right. Boom. Just loop that hook. Front foot, front hand. Bang. One movement coming in. All right. Let's try that one. There's combination number three. Combination number four. So we're just using the jab. Right. This is great for developing timing, rhythm in the feet and landing that step jab and getting in and out with the footwork. So what we're going to do before we start throwing the jab in, I'm just going to have uh, your boxer hands up and we're just going to bounce forward and back. Feet are going to stay shoulder width apart the whole time. We're just coming in and out. So she's coming into range and out of range. Push, 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 push. Good. Nice and relaxed in the shoulders. Covering six to eight inches maybe, nothing, nothing too big, but see how the feet are staying nice and wide, it's on the balls of the feet, using the back foot to, uh, push to get in, and using the front foot push off to get out, right? But what's happening is when she's coming in, the front foot's moving and the back foot's moving together. It's a nice rhythm, right? Now what we're gonna do is when that front foot lands, we're gonna land a jab every time. This is great for amateur boxing because it's getting you in with the jab and out, in with the jab and out with the feet. Just point scoring 101. So hands up, every time that front foot lands, I want you to land a nice solid jab and get straight back out and keep that same rhythm in your feet. So go, jab, 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 jab. One, two, three, two, one. Good, nice. So there you have it, combination number four. Just great for developing that dynamic footwork pattern and really developing that rhythm and timing with between the feet and the jab as well, all right? So try that one out, let me know what you think. Before I get to number five, my personal favorite on these advanced footwork combinations with the mitts, I just wanna remind you, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, that way you'll get notified each week of the new videos. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below for me to answer. Okay, so uh, combination number five, we're gonna start with a regular jab, then for the second jab, she's gonna actually pin it, which means we're gonna stick it on the pad for a split second. You can't hold that too long or else it's a disqualification, right? You get told for holding. So we're gonna pin it for a second. So the pin jab, that all that's doing is blinding me for that split second where I can't see what's going. As Soon as she releases that jab, bang, the right hand just follows it up, right? So it's just kind of a, a pin jab to just kind of blind the opponent. So that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with the jab, the pin jab, the right hand comes in, then she's gonna roll under the hook and step at the same time while we throw hooks at the same time. Now she stepped out with that right foot. So as that right hand's landed, boom, as she starts to go, it's a step and roll at the same time. Right, rolling to the right, stepping out with the right foot. Boom, but landing that left side. Now what's so good about this is, as she's stepping across and landing that punch, we've talked about this before, the momentum and the step across the body is creating double the power on that body shot. So it's, it's rather than staying in position, that could be a pretty powerful shot if you stayed in position, but with the step over, all that body weight's going across and into my body at the same time. So it's boom, doubling up that, that power. So from the top, starting with the jab, we pin the jab, we fire the right hand roll, boom, body shot as, we, as I come in with that hook. So we're throwing hooks at the same time. All right, so let's try it from the top, make it a little bit more live. Jab, pin, bam, boom, nice, nice and quick. And where you want to aim for right there is just under the chest, right in that solar plexus right there. So just under the chest bone, bang. So if you're a coach right here, you want to hold that mitt right there under the chest, that's exactly where the punch should be landing. All right, so one more time, jab, pin, cross, right there, feel that. Great shot, good work. All right, so there you have it, there's five advanced boxing combinations, all with footwork that you can develop, whether it's dynamic on the bounce, single steps, 
roll and step, stepping across your opponent, stepping into range. We tried to cover a few things there. If you have any questions at all on any of these combinations or mitt work combinations with footwork, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next video.